Guys, today we're going to do a bit of a status check here on Bitcoin. We're going to talk about the next levels of support and resistance. What's going on in the markets right now? What should you pay attention to if you're holding Bitcoin or any altcoin? When are we going to see a massive altcoin season? Well, I do believe that altcoins are going on massive runs already, but that's nothing compared to what's about to happen. And I don't think that we have seen the top in Bitcoin yet. So this chart is telling us the same. We're talking about Ethereum, we're talking about altcoins, we're talking about much more. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Let's begin with Bitcoin. And you can see that after going down a bit here, Bitcoin has been struggling with my orange line at 61,200. Being rejected, one, two, three, four. Well, let's see if this candle is going to be able to uh, close above this level, which is going to be good. So zooming out, I mean, it's not looking terrible. It's not looking terrible at all, but it's very clear that yes, we did in fact get that rejection of, of the orange box level here again. So yeah, orange box still posing a lot of problems for us. So naturally, since we got rejected here, we need to pay attention to all of the support levels down here. So you got the 61,100, you got the 59,300 and 57,700. So pay attention to that with the bigger one being of course down here at the orange box. And if we come down here, I'm expecting us to again, come down, find support and make a new try. Just like we saw here, we went down, found support at the orange box and then we made a new try. But let's talk about this long term. So. This long term white bold line here in the middle, this is support for Bitcoin. This is actually the logarithmic growth curve. So this is something you should pay attention to in general. But also we do have this channel right here and you can see that we have massive resistance up here. This goes that back. This is actually on the daily time frame. So this goes back all the way in June. So you got a couple of touching points down below here. You got a couple of touching points here above as well. So if we do see a you know steep correction, well, you can probably expect this to be very strong support. So at that point, I mean, if we see that drop down here, well, this level is going to be somewhere around the fifty-five to sixty thousand dollar level. So not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Depending, of course, on when we're going to get that correction. But all in all, I'm still expecting Bitcoin to continue to do well. I'm expecting Bitcoin to continue to go up. And if we do see a correction here, it's just going to be a short term correction, in my opinion, because every cycle and this is the tech dev chart again on the two weekly uh, two week time frame in every bull cycle, um, we have seen the peak when the RSI has been hitting this red line here. You can see these peaks right here. This is actually on an index chart. So if you look this, uh, look at this on a different chart, this peak is going to also be up here. So generally, we have two peaks in the RSI here. We have also on these peaks, these tops here, we also have a touching point here on the RSI. We go to 2017. The peak was also, um, you know, here at $20,000 when the RSI hit right here. Also, the previous peak we saw late, uh, earlier during this year, we had the peak right here. And I'm expecting us to, during the next peak in Bitcoin, which I expect to be somewhere around 100 to 100 and, uh, well, not 500,000, maybe. Uh, but um, let me just adjust this a little bit. So there we go, somewhere around 100 to 100 and $50,000 or $180,000. So that's what I'm expecting. And this is the RSI level you need to pay attention to in regards to that. For Ethereum, you also know about my big Ethereum thesis here um, when um, we go above this level on the weekly time frame. But other than that, you can see that we are finding support uh, for Ethereum here on the orange line at 4,451. So this is actually becoming very strong support right now. Let's see if this holds. I hope that this is going to hold. We knew that this was going to be strong support. So keep watching that. For Cardano on the daily time frame, we do have this massive uh, descending triangle or falling wedge, whichever you want to call it. And here we are preparing for a big move for Cardano. Guys, if you want to start trading yourself and claim a nice bonus over on Femex $1,200 there, also on Bybit $4,530, make sure to use these links if you want to claim these bonuses and $2,040 over on C-Trade. Big congratulations to everyone who have been holding Rainy Corn. So Rainy Corn made a new all-time high yesterday and a lot of people are asking me, what should we think about when it comes to altcoins right now? Well, one thing you can think about and uh, when it comes to how you should, you know, place your altcoin bets 
Well, we do have a thread here by Miles J Creative talking about which altcoins did well when Bitcoin peaked previously, like mid-cycle. So when Bitcoin peaked here at $64,000, which altcoins made massive runs after that? Well, can we expect the same thing once Bitcoin peaks out again and starts to cool down? Well, in that case, these are the coins you should pay attention to. So the first one is Ethereum. Ethereum went up, actually, let me make this bigger. So Ethereum went up by 188% from that peak. So Bitcoin topped out somewhere in March and Ethereum went on to a 188% gain um, in Ethereum here. So that's cool. But there are other coins which made even bigger moves like Solana. Solana made a 350% pump here after Bitcoin topped out. So perhaps you could... Uh, watch Solana. Another one was Filecoin. Filecoin, 466%. And this is out of the top 100 coins, I believe. So, you know, this is not going to consider the average, you know, meme coin or whatever that pumps 1000% in a day. But Filecoin, 466% here. Another one was Quantum. So Quantum went up by 620 percent here after bitcoin peaked out we have dogecoin 100 and no 1220 percent after bitcoin topped out but it gets better telcoin 1900 percent but in conclusion this shortlist provides a variety of options to play the final alt season effectively depending on your own personal goals and risk tolerance so these were the uh, coins that miles g creative considered here of course these are not buying recommendations and just because it happened before does not mean that it's going to happen again but i just wanted to you know show you that information perhaps is going to be helpful perhaps you can see a pattern in the narrative that was going on previously in the cycle and why these coins pumped and maybe you can try to find the next big narrative you know when bitcoin tops out again so Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that this video was helpful. I will see you in the next one.